In these problems, we're being asked to figure out the distance between two points on a number line. And there are a couple of ways to do this. One is you can just count. You can start at one place, for example, G here, and just count one, two, three, four, five spaces. So that's one way to do it, and that works. It takes a little time. Uh, you can also just sort of uh, kind of do some addition or subtraction in your head. You could say, I'm at 4. What do I need to add to 4 to get to 9? The answer would be 5. Sometimes that gets a little more confusing with the negative numbers. So there's another way you can do this, and it always works, whether the numbers are positive or negative. You can just subtract. So I could take 4 minus 9 and then take the absolute value. Well, 4 minus 9 is negative 5, and so an absolute value of that is positive 5. The cool thing about this one is it doesn't even matter which one you subtract from the other. I could have just as easily done 9 minus 4. That's 5. The absolute value of 5 is still 5. So let's try that method down here with this one. We got negative 12 and negative 1. So negative 12 minus a negative 1. Well, negative 12 minus a negative 1 is like 12 plus 1, so that's, sorry, negative 12 plus 1, so that's negative 11, and the absolute value would be 11. If we try it the other way, negative 1 minus a negative 12, negative 1 plus 12 minus a negative is like plus, that'd be 11. Absolute value of 11 is 11. So these are 11 apart. So however you do it, if you want to count, if you want to subtract and take the absolute value, either way will work.